Hey guys, it's Liz. Welcome to another video. Well, today we are doing another install. Last video was my first carbon piece and this video is my second carbon piece. So little by little, I'm starting to add carbon to my car. But as of now, I'm just adding minor things. Uh, so in today's video, I'm actually going to be installing a carbon fiber license plate frame. It is, I believe it's the APR one. I got it from Subu and he gave me a good deal on it so shout out to him make sure you go follow him check out his build he's the homie <laughs> i am going to be doing a story time at the end of this video if you guys want to stick around and watch it you can if not then you could just dip after the install okay so this is the apr carbon license plate frame it is super nice super glossy and i love it obviously um it's used so you can see like the license plate scratches right here, but my license plate's gonna go there too, so I don't really care. It'll cover it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my dog has no respect. Um, anyways, it's very nice, very glossy. It's in great condition. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, um, it's in great condition and I am so excited to throw this on. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so. First things first is we're gonna remove these two screws to release my license plate. And that's it, and you're done. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it down just cause it's pretty dirty. Um, obviously you're not gonna be able to see this part anymore, but just knowing in the back of my head that I didn't clean it, doesn't really sit well with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. All right, so time for the big one. Let's go ahead and line this up. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Let me go ahead and wipe it down really quick. I didn't wipe it down before. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. I wonder how it's gonna look in the night, like with my lights. I feel like it's gonna look good. Overall, I think it looks really well. I feel like it makes the rear look much more aggressive um, since I have like the black Subi Speed tail lights and then I have the gurney flap and my roof is wrapped black so I feel like it just makes it look so much better. Welcome to the second part of my video. For this part of the video I'm just going to explain to you guys what has been going on in the past couple months in my life. I got a speeding ticket not too long ago and he actually also gave me tickets for my tint windows and for not having a front license plate. I guess in California, you're not supposed to have your windows tinted in the front and you're supposed to have your license plate. Obviously, I knew both of those things, but I was pretending like I didn't and he still gave me the ticket because he was being a little jerk. Now, I have to take off my tint. I need to go to the CHP office to get it written off, uh, but I do have to pay a fee for that and then I also have to pay to get my tint removed. Um, I did ask him if he would like put it back on after I got it corrected and he's like yeah so he gave me a good deal for that so I'm gonna go take it off and then I'm gonna go put it back on. <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna do that and then um, I think the STIs already have like the pre-drilled holes in the front so I'm just gonna throw on my license plate. I didn't want to but whatever i'll just throw it on and then i'll take it back off <laughs> i'm also going to install my lip again so if you don't follow me on instagram you might not know but my lip actually ripped off a couple weeks ago i was driving on the freeway and i merged to the right and i honestly didn't see this freaking plastic on the floor and poof, i ran it over so yeah, I ran it over and I, I couldn't do anything about it. There was a car to my left, the shoulder was on the right and it was like a super skinny shoulder. So I couldn't like go to the right. So I had no choice but to run it over. And then after I ran it over, I got off the freeway and I was driving super slow. And then I checked out my car and my lip was gone. 
so sad, but yeah, it happens. Um, it got ripped off and now I don't have a lip. But luckily, Sydney, Sid Baru, um, follow her by the way, she's the best. She's so sweet, she's so pretty, her car is so nice. Um, yeah, but basically she was getting rid of hers because she got a carbon fiber one So she posted it that she was just giving it away I was like, oh my gosh, I'll take it because mine literally had ripped a few days before that So it was literally a coincidence. I was so happy that she posted it So I hit her up and then I went to go pick it up, but I haven't had a chance to throw it on So that's also what I'm gonna do today this time I'm actually gonna use bolts and some nuts because obviously the self tap screws are not it <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna do that today i'm just gonna show you guys really quick um, i'm not gonna really go into detail about it at all so i'm just gonna take you guys with me as i go take off my tint and then throw on that lip so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and thank you for listening to my little story time <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back home and I am so sad. I have officially taken off my tint. You can't really tell through the camera how clear it is, but it's so clear, it's so sad. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. The other side, yeah, you can definitely tell. But yeah, I will be putting it back on on Tuesday, so stay tuned. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the lip. This is the lip that Sydney gave me. Shout out to Sydney. I am gonna go ahead and take off my bumper and just screw it on. I do have this Trimco um, like hydrator, I guess, I don't know. Um, it's from Cerakote and it's really good. I've used it before. Um, it does say to use gloves to apply it. I don't have any gloves, so hopefully my hands are okay. Alrighty, what do you guys think? It looks so good now that I applied the trim restorer. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, I think it looks so good. I'm so happy. I finally have a lip again. Hopefully this one won't fall off. I actually used bolts and nuts this time, not the self-tap screw. So yeah, hopefully this one actually lasts.
Okay, so this officially concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to this part, I really appreciate you. I know that this video was kind of all over the place. I will be posting more often, I promise. I am so sorry for not posting or posting almost every month, but I promise I will be posting soon. I actually have an install video coming out maybe in less than two weeks, so stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at STILiz and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment of what you guys want to see next. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much once again. See you in the next one.